I just did number 23, 26, and 27. Then, please tell me that the, it includes. Please, 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 Need to wrap up the oh, thank goodness. Thank goodness. Yes. And, uh, Wait, what? No, 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 no. No, no. 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 Now I have to do two problems by myself. Oh man. All right. The first problem for this lesson is uh, chapter 11, number. Man, I have to do two problems by myself. No. Oh. No, 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 no. 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 There's too much stuff. No. 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 No, 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 no. Stop it. Why are there so many stinking sections? Stop. 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 Twice. Oh, nobody even asked her for the second video. Why? Why would nobody ask her for the second video? Are you serious? How? How did nobody ask her for the second video? Nobody thought to themselves, man, I would really appreciate a, an instructional video on those two problems. Nobody? Man. Man. No. 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 No.
what? Right. What? No. Oh, this is clearly not what it's doing. I need help. I need help for that question. No. 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 Come on. Come on. Why is the table different? You got to be kidding. You have got to. Gross. Oh. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. No, no. I don't have that tools.
no, 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 no. They already gave you the ones and zeros? No, 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 gotta be kidding you've gotta be kidding they did the problem with stat tools I don't have that I don't have it I don't have it no No, 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 no. No. Oh. Oh. Stupid textbook. You didn't explain how to do it with when without stat tools. This is dumb, this is dumb, this is dumb. Oh this is dumb 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 this is this dumb 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 dumb
No, no. This is going to be old again. That's right. And I, and I, they already told me. They already gave you these, so I'm gonna skip the uh, time. Oh my gosh, this must be super old because they they didn't have either they didn't have the ability to paste it all the way down to the bottom, or he just doesn't know how to do that. is asking us if there's a significant relationship between the Italian and uh, the Italian restaurant, the type of restaurant, and uh, the store. You can see that there is. You can evaluate it here. 0.016 is 
So it's not alpha C, alpha equals 0 0.01, 2 to the cubic fail to reject it, which is higher than that. But for most alphas, there's like your five constants. We, we would reject an alpha. There, there seems to be a relationship here. So if you quantify that relation, you're telling restaurants you can get a three point boost in a score all other things equal. Why is that? Well, it might be that hold the price constant. I'll do some more.
sorry, sorry, yow. And put the X range twenty six. We have the four potential explanatory variable. Stop. Size of the house in square feet. Total number of rooms in the house, the age of the house, and the indication of whether it has an attached garage. So... That is going to be these. Therefore, new worksheet is. So, we are going to have this. That's fine. We have this. There we go, and we have obtained a significance of a significance. P values. My goodness, the P values for the number, age, and attached garage are very high. Very, very high. So, it doesn't seem to matter. It looks like size is doing all the work for you there. Size of the house is doing most of the work. It says p-value there. So, Oh, okay, I did all of four of the variables there. So. Well, 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 stop. P value less than 0.05, so general, and conclude that's there is a significant linear correlation between sales price and the predicted variables. Uh, price so the price equals negative twenty nine thousand four hundred and seventy plus oh my gosh seventy eight point four three Times size plus 
seven one seven zero times number rooms plus negative two thirty six point two nine times the age plus negative five six six three point three nine times attached to the raj and Attached garage has P value of 0 0.78. So maybe not. A good predictor. Uh. No, <laughs> I'm. Wouldn't you just include the p-value of the, only the p-values that are small? Because uh, evaluate the uh, estimate regression equations. Goodness of fit. Goodness of fit. Well, we have those two data. I mean, oh, we have these um, R squared. Uh, we have eighty nine percent of area. In price explained by model adjusted R square is eighty five percent. This is um. I don't know. Let's... Um. Use the estimated equation to predict the sales price of a three thousand square foot. Blah 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 blah. blah. Okay, so we will. Do um 
C right here. We will use the equation to predict the sales price of this, all of these things here. So we want to, I wish it would just give us the equation, dude. Oh, man. Oh, my God. So, this thing plus this times size 3000 plus this times well we have number of rooms 7 plus age let's see age 20 plus attached garage oh my gosh do you type one or z do you just type I guess you just type one or zero you type this you just type zero on it right because if it has attached garage and decrease how could it possibly decrease the price to have an attached garage? What? Is that what that means? That means that it's, it's negatively correlated or size, bigger the size, the better, um, higher the price, number of rooms. But if it's the older it is, the lower the price but apparently attached garage according to the equation so no attached garage times zero so i guess that's how you do it right so we got the selling price of this we got this selling price right here so there's the estimated price How accurate is your prediction? Well, let us see. I mean, that would assume that there's actually a house that has those exact specifications somewhere on here. What? Uh, how are you supposed to know how accurate your prediction is if you don't have the real answer? Like, if you don't have, like, a, a data value here. They said seven rooms, right? Seven rooms, 20-year-old, 3,000 square foot. Like, what? What on earth? There's two 3,000 results, and but they both have eight rooms. None of them, neither one is 20 years old. What? How are you supposed to evaluate how accurate the prediction is if you don't have the actual value? How do you know how accurate your prediction is? You need, are you kidding me? What, what are you doing? Come on, like give me, The heck? This is such bull crap. You can't know how accurate your prediction is until you tell me the actual price. What the heck?
What? On earth? What? I'm going to not answer the question because they didn't get tell you the actual answer to it. Tell me what the real price is. What is the real price? Okay, too bad. I'm done with 26. Number twenty seven. Forty seven. No, I don't want to do it. I don't want to do it. How do you create dummy variable for multiple categories? Oh, I think each one only has two categories. Oh, oh my god. Oh. Oh. No. Oh. <laughs> Well, maybe that just means you can't predict use it by itself to predict it, but if you combine with all the other things, then sure it can it can count towards the total amount of prediction value and actually be fine. I don't know. Uh, oh, too late. I already closed it. I'm not gonna open it and change it again. Now I have to do the actual thing that was in the video, which is to change uh, I think, um, do we need both of them?
I have to do the thing. I have to do the thing. Let me move it over by two. And then do D underscore utility or industrial. Well, let's see which one they want you to look at. Well, it doesn't, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter at all which one is. The reference point doesn't matter. Steam, mud. Um, difference between industrial and utility. Well, guess what? Utility is the first one listed. Ho, ho, ho. And then D underscore steam is the first one listed so <laughs> stop we have I forgot the equation so I'm going to now look it up although I think it actually does it describe it in the book so I'll just look at the book if equals if parenthesis this one equals quote the thing comma one comma zero so looks like if we do equals if parenthetical this this equals is it equals yes equals quote utility quote comma value if true one value if false zero and now looks like we got that and we just do this should exactly work because utility utility industrial blah 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 utility industrial blah 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 utility industrial utility industrial industrial utility <laughs> stop one equals utility and then equals if this one equals quote steam quote if it equals steam then you do a one comma zero then go down oh, oh, oh. stop steam is one mud zero steam mud steam steam mud steam and it looks to be working so Now, I'm glad they didn't make us do multiple ones because that would have sucked. <laughs> Stop. I don't know how to do it with multiple categories other than either one, one or zero. So. Oh. Oh. We will try to figure out the selling. Nope, 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 nope. Worker hours is thick, dependent, variable. <laughs> Worker hours. Is that and the X will be capacity design pressure and the D utility D steam. So boiler capacity, boiler design pressure. So capacity pressure type and uh, boiler and drum type. So capacity pressure, utility, or steam boiler type and drum type so you can now stop Yay. and we got those and worksheet answers you know, stop 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 you snipped
we appear to have good it appears to be a good model and we have a good significance here and which ones are good ones here well it appears that they all are except for intercept I don't know what that even means <laughs> stop so we have um, <laughs> so we have our equation is going to be equal to hours worker hours Worker hours equals equals negative three three nine point one eight plus zero point zero zero eight eight times boiler capacity plus 1.9265 times de design pressure and then Minus three four 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 point two five four six times so the D utility one and D steam. I forgot what those are. What is D utility? It's going to be boiler type. Boiler type. Boiler type plus 2.2093.3536 times Drum type so that's the equation it's going to be that times this times this plus that times that plus my that times that plus this times this and stop <laughs> it's going to be that times that times that interpret the estimated regression no he For the capacity, every single one is either one and one and one and one and one, and one, and one pounds per hour. Pounds. That is weird. Boiler capacity is pounds per hour. For every pound per hour of boiler capacity for each additional pound per hour of boiler capacity for each additional pound per hour of boiler capacity the worker hours will increase by 0 0.0088 for each additional something of pressure 
What is the Zion pressure anyways? For each additional pounds per square inch, for each additional No, for each additional pound per square inch of design pressure, the worker hours will increase by 1.92. Six five, and then uh, <laughs> if it is utility rather than the other one. Oh, my goodness. If the if the boiler pipe is utility, the the number of worker hours will decrease. Negative three, four, four, four point two five four six. If the drum type is steam, the number of worker hours increase by two zero nine three point three five. Female, female is coefficient of negative eight zero eight zero. Wait just a sec. Wait just a minute. Is that what we're supposed to put for the equation instead of what I was putting? Oh no. Oh no. Was I doing it wrong the whole time? Oh no. Are you supposed to split it into two equations? <laughs> but what if you have multiple? Oh no. No, 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 no. Oh my goodness, that means you have to create five jillion equations instead of what I was doing? Is that what you have to do? Does it matter? It will indicate how much less it is relative after relative to level five. I feel like my equation is still fine because it's going to get the same result either way.
Basically, what this is saying is this is the amount less relative to the other option. <sighs> because the other option is just the default. It will be zero. So wouldn't it be, wouldn't it, um, does it matter? Like, do I have to write multiple equations? Wait, did he write the equation in that vid in that one video? Did he did he write the equation? Uh, uh, uh. Is it incorrect the way I was doing it, where I was just doing? Dude. No, no. Was I doing it incorrectly? Was I doing it incorrectly? Mm. Hey, look, look at this. That's exactly what this guy did, see? If it's Italian, at 3,000, I mean three, and if it's not Italian, it's just nothing. It's just a zero. It should give you the same result as what was given in the textbook. It should give you the same thing. But this is what this guy said in the video, so I'm doing it perfectly fine. My way of doing it is perfectly fine. It gives you the same answer either way. Maybe I should say relative to, whoops, I should say this relative to if it is not utility. What is the other option? Industrial. Relative to if it is, I think it said mud was the other one. Stop. So what is this here?
I mean, C and D are pretty much the same thing. C and D are really very redundant with B. B and C and D. C and D are already contained. The answer to those are contained within B. So, um, so I'm going to skip those. Predict number of, like, how on earth are you supposed to know the accuracy of your prediction if you don't have the data? If you don't have the real answer for this, are you kidding me? Capacity of 550. Like they should have given, they should, this should be based on a real result. This should be based on a real actual result. How are you supposed to know how accurate it is? This makes no sense. They don't, they, there's not a single one where it's at 550. You've got to be kidding me. What is this? <laughs> What is this? Do they even do that for anything else? No. Do they do any other examples where it's just the dummy variables by themselves? Just give me an example where they they answer the question about of that equation. Gotta be kidding me. What on earth is this? How are you supposed to know the accuracy of your prediction? Is that the standard error or something? Like, is that how you're supposed to look at the accuracy? Like... Okay, fine, I'll do that. 68% of the time, there's a 68% chance that it will be within 894 of the correct answer or something. Um... I hate this. Why? How are you supposed to know how accurate your prediction is? What on earth? What on earth, dude? Seriously? 14, the design pressure of 1400. Are there any 1400s here? Nope. Not a single one. This is ridiculous. What? what? The only way you could predict, know how accurate it is, is if they gave you the real price, the actual price that you can't just, how are you supposed to know? I mean, you could say that you're, you can say, well, 68%, there's a 68% chance that we're within 894 hours of the correct answer. <laughs> That's all you can really do. I don't know. Is that really what they want you to do? Come on. It's funny how the video, the instructional video actually did have that question type of question in it, but it skipped over the whole point part of like, oh, how accurate is the prediction? Funny. I'm just gonna <laughs> so
equals this plus what is the boiler capacitor? Oh, wait, wait. What is the boiler capacity? It's 550,000. The pressure times um, 1400. 14. And uh, now we have boiler type. Boiler type. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. Plus, plus this times. So utility is one. Utility is one. Hey, look, utility. So utility is one, so therefore times one. And then uh, this one, and is it steam? Is it steam? Yes, it is. So that means the number of worker hours should be right around, stop it this so it should be about 5000 something does that go with all the other ones yeah i mean how am i supposed to know how accurate my prediction is that is ridiculous like you can say well there's a 68 percent chance that this prediction is accurate with when 894 hours how about no I'm going to do F. F is the same exact thing except with a different thing. Equals this plus boiler capacity is uh, 100,000 plus pressure of 1,000 the utility utility is it utility or is it industrial hey it says industrial so zero and then this times is it steam or mud well there it's zero so stoppy and it looks about right it's going to be 2,000. Stop. So. Stop it. No, oh, I have to go all the way back. I just have to make sure of something and stop it. Please their coefficient was thirty thousand something. So female so female will be uh male will just be this coefficient and female will be this minus a thousand something. What the What the? Uh, wait, what? Why is it times? Oh, great. It's, this is not what I'm looking for. Just give me back to the original simple problem, please. Is it this one? 
I think so. Here's the original coefficient. So female or male would just be the original coefficient. And then female should be the same coefficient minus 8,000. So 8,000 plus 5 is like 13, but it's like 13. What the? I'm an idiot. Minus. What's 15 minus 8? I don't remember what 15 minus 8 is. It's 7 something. So yeah. It should give you the correct results. So dang it. So I think I got the correct numbers. So there. There. Uh oh. Oh. We're done with, we're finally done with 50% of what we need to do today. Oh my gosh. I mean, again, they probably gave you something that's not even on there. $100,000. I mean, 100,000 pounds. Like, really? Why would they ask you how accurate your prediction is? That's so stupid. Are you kidding me? How are you supposed to know how accurate it is? Do, do they really want you to be like, well, there's a 68% chance that it's within this much? 